I got expensive fabrics, I got expensive habits. He wanna go with me, he likes to roll away. He wanna be with me, he wanna give me that vitamin D. Ice on a mess, ice style on a mess. You ain't on a this, don't think they own a this. Again, and today I am back with another video. And if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Please hit that subscribe button down below to see more. So now that you're subscribed, today I will be doing a simple eyebrow tutorial. And I know some people have requested it. So today I'm going to show you all. So what I recently just started using on my um, eyebrows is the e.l.f. Eye Pompe. I think, I think it's called Eye Pompe. And it looks like this. And I haven't been using that much because like, but this stuff, y'all, I thought it wasn't going to work, but it works. And I am in the color Espresso. And I chose the darker color because, like, my real hair is, like, very dark. My hair is black and, like, a dark brown color. And my eyebrows are, like, really dark, as you can see. I won't say that they're black, but they're, like, they kind of close. So, yeah. And I used to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. But, like, that was more for, like, if you just want to thin brow and go so if i just want a thin brow and go like a, just a little filler i use this but like this is a really good product too but i also use this i use this right here and then i use a little and i am in the shade i think this is medium brown i'm in the shade of medium brown this is by anastasia Stasi barely Hills. okay and then i use my little brush i got from elf well i purchased from elf and it is an eyebrow duo brush and i love this brush because the little tip is angled perfectly like great for your brows and then this is like a little spoolie like you no know, brush or whatever <laughs> and then but i use this little brush right here for the eyebrow gel that's inside of here and this is the nyx eyebrow cake powder i don't really like this because it's not dark enough for my eyebrows so i just use the eyebrow gel instead to keep my eyebrows intact all day you know what I mean? but yeah i just use that and for concealer this right here but i don't know if i'm gonna be you know, like you know and i really like these things because like they really get in the angles that you can't get in with the beauty blender or whatever so, I, this is in the shade Toffee, and I really, 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 really love this concealer. This is my. So, first, basically, I just get one of these brushes and I just basically brush it, like brush out my brows. You don't have to do it as hard as me, but like I always do it because I feel like if you don't, And now you see they're shaped up and everything and like i kind of like to go over here because like my eyebrows they like to switch up on me so like you know they want to switch up don't get done i'm just playing y'all basically i take the brow pump after i just do whatever and see i kind of made myself a spoolie because i actually broke it i don't know how and i, I kind of got mad about it but it's fine just make myself a spoolie It works fine. Here we go. So basically, I just dip it inside of here, like this. And no, this video is not sponsored. None of my videos are sponsored yet. So yeah, this is not a sponsored video. Okay. So then I just start at the top of here, and I kind of try to draw a little line. I have not mastered that yet, but yeah, I kind of try to draw a little line. Because some days I want some thick eyebrows because my eyebrows are like so freaking thin. And I really do not like that. So, just try to draw. Today I feel like I want to go for like a thick, thin brow. So, that's what I want to go for. That's what, I, that's what I'm going for. So as you can see, I kind of made that little angle up there. 
And some days I don't even need concealer, but like I'm gonna do it today because I'm gonna do a get ready with me. So yeah. You just fill them in basically because like. get my eyebrows this thick but like I kind of like it and I don't say put too much Pompeii on it but like because like if you put too much on it it'll look like your face is like dark no 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 it'll be like your it'll be like your eyebrows are extremely dark and like you don't want them to look black because everybody see everybody don't have a black or black hair and I'm like oh gosh but yeah a lot of people think I don't have black hair, but I do have black hair. So yeah, basically, you just do that. And then I always like to draw like a little line to make it look like something, you know? Cause like my eyebrows are so thin. And it's not, and I don't hate it being thin, but like, yeah. So then I take this little part of this little angle brush and I slowly like do this to like the little hairs because you don't want your eyebrows to look boxy because if you have boxy eyebrows, sis, what are you doing for real? So yeah, I hate boxy eyebrows. Well, I don't hate it, but like I do not like it when people box in their eyebrows. I'd be like, what are y'all doing? Like, that looks kind of horrible. But you do it lightly because, like, you actually want it to look natural and you don't want it to look boxy, as you can see. Like, look at this eyebrow versus this eyebrow. You can see some work been done. But a lot of people be like, they don't even, ne they never notice that I do my eyebrows. They all be like, oh, I see your eyebrows grow. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'll be like, no, I filled them in a little bit. They'd be like, you did? I'd be like, yeah. They'd be like, oh, that looks really good. Like, thank you, sugar, thank you, sugar. But <laughs> yeah, so let me start on this other side of my eyebrow. So, when I'm trying to do an angle, I just really just dip my whole brush into it. So, yeah. Too much. I don't even have to fill in the eyebrow because I really got too much. So if you ever have too much, just scoop it to the side. It saves your product. It really does. Like instead of just wiping it on a napkin and then it be gone by the month or whatever, you're saving your product by scooping it off some. Like don't hurt. And I think I drew this thicker. But I mean really don't matter they say your eyebrows are supposed to be twins but my eyebrows mm, they are not twins <laughs> they do they don't, I don't think that they become twins but like they say you're supposed to but like I don't ever think my eyebrows are twins so yeah mm. okay so then I just I didn't even have to really fill this in because like I overfilled it in but as you can see they're kind of twins but they're not so I need to like make this more sharpie but, like make it look realistic too and as you can see that is how I do my eyebrows so I really don't use this like when I'm trying to blend it in because I feel like it does not help blend in at all. So I just take my little DIY spoolie and then I just do that. Okay. So 
Now that I'm done with it. Now I'm going to take the eyebrow gel and just put it on there so it can stay or remain the rest of the day. Because I'd be feeling like I'd be wiping my eyebrows off. Even though I really don't because it still be there like when I'm taking all the makeup off at night. So yeah, just put some on, like this much on there and I just... And it's clear, it's best to get the clear gel because you can't really see the gel. But if you get color gel and it works for you, kudos to you. But I mean me, I really personally don't like the other color gels. I like the clear gel because... It lasts longer for one and it doesn't like, leave any residue or over color the brow okay and like that's one thing about my skin it automatically melts in I don't know why but yeah it's melting in so like if you see like a little highlighty looking color that's the gel and I feel like NYX has some really good eyebrow gels. And if you want to go in and like make it thicker, you can with this. And I really don't feel like I need to get it thicker. But like, yeah. Fill in these little spots. Yeah, there we go. So, that's how I do my brows, basically. But let me show you the okay, rest. So now I'm about to do the other part, which is cleaning them up, you know? Okay. So now I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. I just do this and I like this better because like, I just do it like this because I like it better because it really gets you right. So yeah. So this way. And see, it also helps create the angle if you haven't got the angle right. And I got this concealer from Sephora, and I absolutely love it. Like, I have never gotten a concealer and actually, like, really, really liked it. So, Sephora, shout out to you. Shout out to you guys. So Sephora, shout out to you guys. And I like it because it gives such a nice clean. And like, it really matches my skin. Like, it really. So now I'm going to go under. I'm not going to go too far because I have like a little pimple. And I really do not like putting makeup on pimples because if you do, it'll like create a bigger pimple. No, I hate pimples. I don't hate them, but like, I just don't like them. So, yeah. Now I just simply just go like this. And I try to be careful because, like, my brows are so thin. It's so ridiculous how thin they are. It's like so thin. And I have the liberty to do this because, like, if I don't, I'm not going to see it. As you can see, I cleaned it up, and like it looks natural and it looks nice. And I have to clean this one up. So, Vipper Gang, that is basically how I do my eyebrows. I hope you all learned something from this tutorial and you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And leave a comment if you want to. And if you have any questions, just DM me, email me, or just drop a comment. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And have a great day wherever you are. Great day or great night. 
so if you did forget it, we'll see you later.